G'day and welcome back to another video and today we are looking at Carrera's 2023 catalogue. Now they've just released their 2023 YouTube video, the official video of what we're going to see this year. There is some items missing because of licensing. I did find out from Carrera that they are waiting for some tick offs. That's why it was a little bit watered down compared to the catalogue. But let's check the catalogue together. There's some really good sets, there's some really good cars. So let's flick through it together and choose some of my favourites. Alrighty, so let's get stuck into it. I have downloaded the official 2023 catalog from Carrera's website. If you want one, jump over there and download it yourself. But let's get stuck into it. It is the 60 year anniversary of Carrera. Really cool front page. Also, you can get a physical copy, uh, but this is the digital version. But let's get stuck right into it. Now, I won't touch on too many things. I do want to look at the cars and the sets, but of course, uh, there's some features in here that if you want to read up on about controllers and how some of the sets work, please check it out yourself. But I will just touch on a couple of things as we go. And some of my own points and what I think will, might make these sets a little bit better. But first up, we've got Start Your Engine. This is the 124 set. Huge cars, huge track, love the layout. Wireless, now I'm a huge fan of wireless. I think we should be just going to wireless now with the digital stuff. The wired stuff is good, but let's just go wireless. I think every set should now have the wireless controller. It does help with marshalling. We do have a crossover, really cool set. Two beautiful BMWs, which we can see right here. Nice M4s, GT3, love the liveries. We've got the motorsport livery and the Mal, if I'm saying it right, the Mal racing team. Beautiful looking cars, two cars, big track, big cars. But let's move on to the Carrera 124 digital scale. So this is some new stuff. We've got the Audi R8. Good looking car. I like the R8. I think, I think uh, Carrera does a good job of the finish. We do have the BMW M4 with the, looks like to be the Carrera livery, the 60 year anniversary. Now this is only a side profile pick. You will find some of these haven't been ticked off yet. There's our two BMWs that come in the set, 124 scale. Down to the Chevrolet, uh, Chev Chevrolet Corvette, the C8R. Beautiful, the Sebring, love that livery. It looks really good. Over to a 458 Itali Italia GT3. Now, I love, I love a DHL livery. It's plain, but sometimes the plain ones look good, but in 124 scale, that'd be impressive. Moving on down, we've got a, is that pink or already pink? Might be pink, uh, Ford GT race car. I think that is pink. Let me know in the comments. Am I seeing it wrong? Then to one of my favorites, the Porsche. Of course, I'm a Porsche fan. The 911 RSR, the Carrera livery again, number 93, really cool. New for this year, looks good. This one looks interesting, the same car, Porsche 911 RSR, the Proton Competition. Love the green, I'm a huge fan of green. Really hard to pull off on a car, but I think this would look good once it's finished. Of course, it's only a side profile picture, uh, not a full render, but looks really, really cool. Another Porsche 911 RSR, the Proton Competition. I love that mold, I think they've done a good job. An Audi RS5 DTM, beautiful looking livery. That's the Audi style livery, it looks good. Another BMW M4 GT3, new for this year. Uh, the Schubert Motorsport number 31 DTM 2022. Now, apologies on some of my pronunciations, I will get them wrong. Two more new ones, and this will be new liveries. BMW M1 Pro Car, MK Motorsports. Good looking car. In 124 scale, I think it's really gonna show off its, its angles. I haven't got one of these in my collection, but I, I think they look really, really cool. The Ford Capri looks good in both 132 and 124. Interesting livery, this one, new for 2023. Moving on down to a Ford GT40 Mark II, love it. Uh, I think these are cool. 124 scale again, uh, new livery by looks of it for 2023. Over to the Lola, now I've got a Lola in 124, love it to bits, but this one looks nice. It's the Mark IIIB, number 15. Really nice, basic color, but I don't mind that. New livery for the Lola for 2023. And then moving on down to another Lola in the lime green color. I think that looks incredible. So let's scroll on past. Here's some more details about some controllers, everything else. We won't get stuck into that today. Let's look at another set, the Race to Victory set. We've got the KDM uh, Expo and the Mercedes AMG GT3. Good size track, again, wireless with a crossover. I think any digital set should now be a wireless controller. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Carrera, if you're watching, please just do wireless. I think 
it benefits everyone. And if you do only have two players and you're running ghost cars, you can sit either side of the track and marshal. So I think Wallace is the way to go moving forward. Cars are really cool. I can't wait to get my hands on a KTM Expo. I think they look really good in the KTM livery. Cool looking car. And these are the 132 scale, keep in mind. So only the one 124 scale set. Moving on down, we do have the Peak Performance. Looks like we have a beautiful Porsche 935 GT2. Love, love, love that model. It looks awesome. The mold, I think they've done a really good job on finishing this Porsche. And the Corvette C8R, which we did see in the 124 scale as well. And of course, it's scaled down to the 132. And a very interesting layout. I like this. It is it is different. I think it's not your normal you know, figure eight or uh, your standard you know, up and down one corner back you go we do have a really interesting layout here i think this let me know in the comments is this a new layout for one of their sets i don't know we do have wired controllers with a crossover corner which is interesting to see i like seeing a crossover corner wired controllers they're good but i think we should be going wireless but that's cool like it two good cars good looking track layout big fan Brand new set for 2023, digital 132 again. We do have wired, and now we have a double crossover straight with two beautiful cars. Now this is the traditional sort of layout you will get from Carrera. This is sort of a normal style layout, I would say. Uh, I do prefer this one, I think. I, I like that it's interesting, it's different. Not, not as fast in the straights, but a nice technical track. Nonetheless, this is a really good layout. So what do we have here? The AMG GT3 Evo, good looking livery on that one. And we do have the M4 GT3 Beamer. Now let's have a look at the box art again because you'll get a better look at the cars and a top view of the cars, the shell livery. And this one hasn't got the livery ticked off on it as you can see here on the box art itself, which is probably why, I don't know if we saw that car in the 2023 video for Carrera, but some of these you might not have seen because the livery hasn't been ticked off yet. Moving on down to the DTM Bull and Horse. Now I did review this set. Unfortunately, each time I upload it, I get hit with um, copyright, not from Carrera, but because there's Red Bull and stuff. So I am trying to find a way to redo this review. So please stay tuned. I am reviewing this set, but I've had issues uploading the original one because of copyright, but we'll get around that. Wireless controllers, double crossover, awesome layout. This, and I can speak on this one, I have this set, awesome. If you like Red Bull, if you like Alfa Tori, if you like Ferrari, if you want to get a starter digital set in 32 scale, really, really good set. Cars are incredible. And I'll quickly hold mine up because they're always near me. These are some of the nicest Ferraris I have seen. Take a look at that if my camera wants to zoom in. They are stunning. So this review is coming out. Like I said, I've had some issues with YouTube trying to get it on the channel, but we are getting there. Really good, highly recommend it. Let's move on. Love this retro throwback to the box design. Now, here in Austria, I am finding a lot of weird and wonderful stuff, and a lot of the older Carrera stuff is this blue design box art. Love a throwback box. Now, the only thing I don't like about it, it is new. Love the three cars. It's digital. You get three stunning, I think, bang for buck cars. Very interesting. Love the layout. Really think the layout is going to get the most out of your cars. You do have a, a crossover, but we do have wide controllers. I would like to see that wireless. Yes, the price would go up, but then having three cars, you can marshal in three spots. But I understand to keep prices down, they've probably gone with the wide controllers. The three cars are the Lancer, Beta, love it, big fan. Ford Capri, love it. And of course, my favorite of all, I love Porsche. The crema, I love that color. And I'm, you're gonna hear love a lot in this video because Carrera do pump out some nice stuff. Throwback, I think the retro stuff is definitely a big hit now. 60 year retro, love it. I think it's uh, really, really nice. Let's move on down to some of the cars. Now we'll move through these quite quickly because some of these have already been around. Ford Torino, Talladega, we've got the Plymouth Roadrunner, both big sellers. You can see why they look good. They are a big slot car. I do have one of those, I think, in my collection back at home. Really, really beautiful car. Um, I think they do a good job. The VW bus, T2B, peace and love. Now, of course, this is only a picture. Probably waiting for it to be signed off to make it uh, official, but that looks really cool. These race trucks, awesome. I've done a review on one of them. Awesome, I think they look good. Uh, they are fast, they are really fast. This is the Carrera race taxi, so new livery uh, for 2023 as the V bus, uh, the VW bus. Moving on down to the race truck cab over, British Racing Green, awesome new livery, looks sick. Uh, the truck cleaning, the truck, the track cleaning truck, very smart. I think, I think this is a must for any Carrera or any slot car track owner because it's got the cleaning apparatus on the back, 
really smart Carrera. You're using a cool car that you can use for your track. And of course, you can clean your track. I think it's a must. And we've got working lights on that one. Moving on down to some more race trucks. Got the uh, JPS Special livery, and we've got the Martini Racing Team, which I think we saw those last year. Mario and Luigi, and like I said, my cars are always in reach. Awesome set, awesome cars. I absolutely love them. I think this is every kid's dream and big kid. These are done really well. Now, the ones I have are analog, and of course I did show you, you can put in a digital chip which is really good to see that they're doing some fun stuff. Now these are digital cars, so they will have a digital chip. Moving on down to two new liveries by the looks of it for the Audi LMS GT3 Evo and the Mercedes AMG Evo. Of course, pictures only, but we'll get some close-ups of those hopefully in due course. Moving on down to two more newies, we've got the Aston Martin Vantage GT3, another really nice livery, and then a picture of the, GT3, uh, the Vantage GTE TF Sport. Nice livery, I almost fell for that. I thought that was a golf livery. I don't think it is, but it is, it's really nice. I don't mind that. So looking forward to seeing this one, of course, preliminary, waiting for it to be ticked off for licensing purposes, and you'll find that a common theme through here. Down to the R8, again, there's a fair few R8s in here. Really good, look, good looking model, just another livery down to your collection. And we do have a, a BMW M4 GT3, I'm guessing waiting to have a tick off on the livery again. New livery for 2023. Down to another M4, the Carrera livery one, which we saw earlier, looks really cool. I think that's, um, yeah, that's really cool. Good looking livery, waiting to be ticked off. Should be seeing that this year. BMW M4 GT3 with the M Sports livery. It's always a winner. Down to some more M4 GT3 Mile Racing, I think. Did we see that in one of the sets originally? I'm not too sure. I've lost track now. On to another newie, we have the M6 GT3 Walken Horse Motorsport Car 34. Very colorful, that's definitely uh, gonna stand out in your pit box. Corvette C7 GT3 R, the colorway competition. I'm a Corvette sucker, so any Corvette I think is good, new for 2023. And we've got the Chevy again, the CAR, which I think we saw that in the 124 scale. Also got the Corvette pace car, CRR. I think we saw that in 124 and 132 last year, correct me if I'm wrong. The Ferrari 488 GT3, good mold, love it. I've just showed you uh, two of mine, love it. I think it looks good. And we're waiting for a tick on that livery. Down to some Mustangs, uh, the num car number five with the, I guess this is the basic Ford livery, looks cool, love those rims, white out with the riding on the tires, really nice and car number six, which is another Ford livery car, which looks good, so take your pick, blue or white, or take them both. Then we've got another Ford Mustang. This is, looks, is that these similar to the Zack Speed? I'm not too sure, the livery itself. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I am probably wrong, but that looks really cool. Another KTM Expo GTX livery to look at for this year. Very colorful, uh, looks good. Want one of those cars in my hands. I haven't seen one of those yet in the flesh. Another KDM livery design, this is the Liquid Molly. I'm a huge fan of Liquid Molly. I think their liveries are good. Uh, I'm sure we saw them in the V8 Supercars a fair bit, that livery itself, but yeah, I think that's a winner. And of course, the KTM Expo GT2 in the KTM livery, always a winner. Another KTM Expo GT2, the True Racing Car 75, and whew, the Lamborghini Huracan GT3, ARC Bretta Velalia said that completely wrong, 24 hour spa 20, 2016, new livery, looks really cool, love it. Another Lambo, we have got the Ombra Racing, blue and black. The Lambos I think are a good looking car. Really hard to pull I, I think a livery off on the Lambo because there's so much uh, small parts and pieces to cover, but uh, yeah, blue and black, I think they've done an okay job on that. AMG GT3, very basic um, Carrera, Livery, I think it's all Carrera. I think I like the Ford, where were we? I think I like the Beamer Carrera livery better than this one, because this is a Carrera liveried design, as you can see across the rear, but yeah, really cool. Oh, Porsche 911 RSR Proton Competition. Love it, oh, I think that looks sick. <laughs> New livery, green with a bit of orange and a bit of light green. Yep, that's a winner. And we've got another Porsche on the right-hand side, the Proton Competition. Let's move along, we have the 935 Porsche GT2. Blows me away. I think it's, uh, again, for me, any Porsche is a winner. Over to another Audi R8. Looks like it's a new livery design. Waiting for that to be ticked off. Uh, looks good, looks good. 
Oh, we got the Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo in the BWT livery. That I think that's a winner. Um, a lot of people know it now. It's uh, yeah, it's the pink. I think is iconic. So yeah, that's, that's a good move. We're waiting for that one to be ticked off, and we do have another GT3 Evo in this quite a unique looking design. Now, of course, from front you can't really see much, but uh, you kind of get a hint of what they're going to be. Uh, moving on down, I think we're almost at the end of the digital 132, we have the Audi R8 and we've got the Audi RS5 DTM. No, right, we've still got more, here we go. BMW M4 GT3, this is that shell livery I believe that we saw earlier in one of the sets. Of course, the two Ferraris that I just showed you in person which look incredible and moving on to what I think is a stunning looking McLaren 720S GT3, the JP Motorsports. That is really cool. Love the color design. I actually like the McLaren itself, so they've done a good job. Lanza Beta, Monte Carlo Turbo. Cool, old school. I'm a big old school fan. The old school cars, I think, are definitely a big tick. Very interesting design there, waiting for that to be ticked off. As you can see, it's a new livery, but any Lancer, Lancia, I'm, I'm a fan of. I love that era of racing and that era of car. Lancer Beta Monte Carlo Turbo. Here we go, another new livery. We've got the Martini, always a winner. It's like golf, you slap it on a car. Normally it looks good. Uh, do we get too many of them? Yes, but when it's like this, a car that we're so familiar with wearing it, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. So more newies, we've got the BMW 320 Turbo Flachbuhr, the Oppenzauser number 20. That's cool. That looks like it's purple and maybe pink. Interesting. Oh, I'd like to say that when it's finished, that looks interesting. Another BMW M1 Pro car, the Kenwood livery, basic but cool. And the reason I say some of the basic ones look good, I think the actual shape of the car does assist a basic livery, and that does look really good. Looks to be the, uh, we'll call it the BBS mesh gold rims. Uh, it's gonna be a winner, I reckon. Down to the D Tommaso Pantera in purple and yellow. We did see that last year, looks good. And there's the other version on the other side, which is the green and white, which again, yeah, good job. Gee, we just keep on going. Fire 512 BB LM Pioneer. We have seen that done several times, I think. I think last year and maybe before that. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. And the Ford Capri RS 3100. Again, good looking car, really cool. Now these are probably my, I'm gonna go on a limb and say my pick of the year for Carrera. Uh, I like the Mercedes, it's different. I like the original two, the red and yellow but I am digging this silver. Again, basic, but the shape of the car really, really, really makes it look good. And because the car is such a large model, which I haven't seen in person yet, um, I, I like it. So this is probably the pick of Carrera for me out of the 132. I like the Merc, it's looking good. So moving on to some more stuff. We do have the Evolution now, so non-digital. There's gonna be a lot of same, same in here. You, you do get some livery, um, perks in the 132 digital that you don't get in the 132 evolution range. That's normally what happens. You do get a couple of different liveries, but let's see if that's the same this year. The Speedway Champions, this has been ran now, I think for two years, this set. Uh, I think if you're, a, if you're a, a, a Speedway fan or a NASCAR fan, uh, definitely a one to get um, quite a big footprint. Two beautiful cars, and I love the Boxer. The Mario Kart, well, I have reviewed this, absolutely love it. Yeah. If you're a slot car enthusiast, or even if you're not a slot car enthusiast, uh, this is a cool set. And I still smile when I talk about it because it's, it's a lot of fun. Really, really good set. So check that one out. Uh, the supercars, we've got the Evolution, the sort of standard crossover figure eight. We have the Corvette C C7, which they've been doing that for a while, I believe. I think one of my first sets had that car in it, which is a di digital, and we had the Lamborghini Huracan. Now, these are Evolution, non-digital, but a good starter set if you're wanting to get into it. Wide controllers, of course, for these ones. What about the other ones? They're wide, and it doesn't say on that one without reading it. So it looks like they're all wide at the moment. Moving down to the DTM Forever, we have the Audi RS versus the BMW M4. Really interesting figure eight. It's a bit of a difference. I, I do like that. This has got a nice little crossover where the bottom one is a traditional. It is a figure, figure, figure eight with a, a couple of bridges there, which is, looks really good. Interesting, challenging. Let's move on down to the evolution. We will skim through this because a lot of this we've already seen. We've got the two Talat, we've got the two, the Fortorino and the Plymouth again. We have got the Mario Karts again. Some new delivery designs for the 32 range, the Audi R8, looks good, I like that. And the Aston Martin Vantage GT3, yeah, I think that looks cool. 
really, really cool. Moving on down, new livery again. I thought we saw this in the 132 Digi, which we might have, the Aston Martin. But let's just cruise on through. If we do see anything I think was different, we'll stop. But a lot of these are the same. So whether you're analog or digital, you, you're gonna have a choice out of the both. Cruising on down in our own leisure, we'll get some more KTMs. Moving down to that very interesting Huracan again. Awesome looking Porsche. I will always stop for a Porsche and there's another one, really cool. But so far it's pretty much the same as the digital range. Let's keep on moving down. Yes, we've got the beta. And that is it for the 132. So I think we do have a bit more in the 132 Digi than we did in the analog, but it's good to see that there are some different liveries across the two. Down to the Go. Go is huge here in Europe. Um, I really I really like Go. My son has the Hot Wheels version of it. And I think even if you like the bigger stuff, the Go cars are, are really, really cool. So we'll have a quick look at these. Mario Kart, always a winner. I think they're really cool in the 132 and the Carrera Go. We've got a loop to loop and a little swing arounds. What do we got here? We've got the Carrera Go onto the podium. We have a Viper. Ooh, we have a Viper. We didn't see a Viper in the 132 range. No, we didn't. So that looks like that's uh, for this year only for, for the Go range and the C7R. So there you go. We've got a nice little Dodge Viper in there. So if you want to get yourself a Dodge, that's the way you're going to get it. Ferrari Pro Speeders. We've got the Ferrari 488 times two in two different liveries and a really interesting layout. That is a cool layout. Lots of track there. We've got some banks. Uh, we've got a couple of bank corners there. So really, really, really interesting layout there. Well done. Now, this is um, hmm, interesting. Max Performance. We're talking F1s. We've got Red Bull Racing and we've got uh, Mercedes 2022 cars. So current cars up until this year. But I am interested to see how these will perform on a loop-de-loop -loop and a wall rider. You'd think you might chuck the Mario, which we, we, we did, but yeah, for an F1, I would like to see more of a traditional layout. What's your thoughts? Would, do you like having a loop-to-loop -loop with the F1 cars? Or maybe I'm just getting old, but yeah, that's interesting layout for the F1s. Moving on down, we've got the DTM High Speed Shadow New. This is a new set, so that's cool to see. We've got the M4 GT3 DTM, the shell livery, into the uh, Go range, looking good. Whoa, what an interesting layout that is. And we do have the Ferrari 488 GT3. Well, we've got double loop-to-loop. -loop. We've got a wall rider. We've got a bridge with a banked corner. Whoa, okay, that is, that's a lot of track. That's a big one. What is it? Seven, seven meters, uh, seven foot by three foot, and it's 29 foot of uh, meterage of track. That's a biggie. That's cool. I like that one. Well done. Down to the build and race set. I almost picked up one of these for my son to add to the Hot Wheels. I think I still will. Uh, yeah, these are cool. I think these are the cars that are like the Lego style cars. Not not Lego, but you know what I mean, brick build. Uh, really cool track. This is where I would have thought you'd see the F1s without the jump. So interesting how they've designed the tracks to suit the sets. This to me would have been better for the F1s. What's your thoughts? But this one's pretty cool as well. Down to the Pixar, Disney Pixar. We've got uh, Lightning McQueen and Jackson Storm. Uh, they've been doing this this branding for a while now. It's definitely a winner, and they've always got some interesting tracks, so good to see. Some go-cars here. We've got the Ford Mustang Times 2, Ford Mustang Times 3, nice color on that one. The Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 Sheriff car. Paw Patrol, Porsche 911 cop car. Some more Paw Patrol. We've got uh, Marshall, my son loves Paw Patrol, and then we've got, I think my favorite, the Mario range. We've got Mario, Luigi, Yoshi, Mario in another car itself. Uh, Yoshi in a, another car, which is the P-Wing. Really cool to see. The Viper times two. Are we gonna get the Viper in 132? It'd be good to see. I didn't see it, so if, did I miss that in the range? I did not see a, a 32 or a 24 Viper. Would be good to see by Carrera. Uh, some new livery designs here on the R8 LMS GT3 and the Chevy uh, C7. Corvette, some more Ferraris. Down to a nice Lambo, the Hurricane GT3. A couple of other reruns we're looking at. We do have the Ferrari, the Mercedes, the Red Bull, and the Alpine from last year. Good to see they're back in. Another livery design for the Audi R8. Two more Audi R8. Whew, a lot of Audis in this one. And moving on down with the BMW M4, new livery design with Times 2. I like the green, that's good. Oh, I actually like the green, it's really, really nice. Some more reruns, the BMW M4, 488. Back to the Ferraris again. A couple of Lambos, new livery on this one, looking good. 
Oh, we've got a new Glow Racers. Oh, that's interesting. Light McQueen Glow Racer. So new livery and new wheels, I'm guessing. So that looks really good. And we've got Jackson Storm in the Glow Racer as well. Very cool to see. Builder Racers, they're carrying on until 2023. And I think that, oh, now we're moving on to some more. We've got the Highway Chase. Uh, one Jump, again, I think these are the battery, battery run. Yes, these are. These are all the battery run, so you can take them uh, on the road with you if you want to play on the road. Paw Patrol, battery run, Mario Kart, battery run, and we've got the Disney Cars 3. So I think that's about it. I won't go into the Carrera first because I think that's a little bit lower than what we want to look at. But that's my wrap up on today's look at the 2023 Carrera catalog. I think we've got some interesting things. It would be nice to see the Dodge jump up into the 123, 132 and 124, I think. I think we are missing some Dodges. It'll be good to see the Dodge Viper in there. I think my pick of the bunch still is the Mercedes. Big fan of the Mercedes. And I do love that retro throwback uh, three car set. The I think that was analog with that me going back through. I like the retro throwback stuff, so really cool to see. So what's your thoughts on the 2023 catalog? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you watching. It is a longer video because we do want to go through it in detail. And if there's anything I did miss, let me know in the comments. And I do know that the Carrera official video was released uh, two days ago, I think now, or yesterday uh, during the week. And there was some stuff missing in that uh, preview because of the livery tick off. So they're only showing stuff that, to my knowledge, that was approved at the time. So that's why the catalog may have some more stuff in it. But be safe, take care, support your local. Ciao.